I've been here um, from the beginning. Um, I came to Nova Scotia about October 1st, uh, worked for two weeks on preparing, and then I've been here since the beginning, um, October 15th. Um, and before that, I was at Occupy Wall Street, and um, informally a member of the outreach working group there. Um, participated in the General Assembly's working group meetings, discussions, marches, and um, things have led me here, and so I'm doing this here, and, and I will move on, and my plan is to participate in the movement. I mean, I think that this is the most important thing happening right now. Not just important, but also exciting. It's, a, it's actually a very enjoyable um, thing to be at the edge of history, um, essentially. We are, we are an occupation, we are not a village, so it's just beginning to plant the seeds of that new kind of society and what we're doing, but we talk about that and um, that's certainly our goal. I think that the strength of the movement and the people who participated, participate in it is their flexibility. Um, we know that the movement will evolve and there will be pressures applied to it. We might have to leave Grand Parade for various reasons, whether it's a Veterans Day event or the cold or something else. Um, the movement is not a physical location. The physical location is a strategic choice and we have to make countless strategic choices every day. Um, I think it was a very wise decision and, and showed our skills at negotiation in conflict resolution and, and in listening to essentially say, we hear that this is important to you and we are not going to make, uh, you know, we're not going to be stubborn for a rhetorical message. We're going to allow you to have that space for your, for your ceremony, but then we will return because the movement is not ending. And while we're in Victoria Park, we'll continue to do what we do. And who knows, maybe we'll be in the legislature building. Maybe we'll be in Dalhousie University. Maybe we'll be in some uh, workplaces. I think that people who imagine this movement to be dwindling don't understand um, the momentum behind it and basically the, the, the reality, the factors that are in play in society. So. Um, I don't think that it's going away anytime soon and, and certainly I don't see us moving to Victoria Park for a few days as a loss. Well, uh, I was elected uh, with the NDP in the last election on May the 2nd. Uh, I, represent, I represent the writing of uh, ABTB Bay James Nunavik EU, uh, one of the largest writings in, in the country. Um, and I'm here on a visit, uh, uh, touring the country as a matter of fact, because uh, I'm involved in the leadership race uh, to replace Jack Layton. Well, I think uh, there, there's a, an urgent message behind this movement across, uh, across the land that started in New York on Wall Street. Uh, there's an urgent message to the, to the effect that uh, we need to uh, bridge that gap that, that is still widening, as a matter of fact, between the 90, 99% of, of us as pain of it for the very few privileged in this country uh, and elsewhere. So uh, that's the message I believe that I understood from, from this place, uh, from in Montreal, uh, in Quebec City, uh, and everywhere else, everyone else, uh, um, everywhere else that I went since uh, this whole movement started. You know, uh, I've learned from experience that, and that uh, it takes a lot of patience to achieve what you want. Uh, as an Aboriginal person, I surely know that. Uh, but uh, you know, even though if they're pushed out of this, uh, this area or wherever they are uh, in this country, it's going to come back in another form because this fight is not finished. Excellent. You know, we came here and in one day we set up and essentially, um, you know, people put their tents where they wanted to. We didn't have any plan, but um, what? If there was a plan, I didn't hear about it. Right. Um, this is the medical tent, so this is a place where people can go if they are feeling 
sick or if they have minor um, medical issues and we have some uh, first aid supplies as well as some um, people who have experience with um, as nurses or as paramedics who, who man this tent and, and have um, information you know um, for people if they need to go to the hospital or if they just want to go in there to rest. Um, this is the admin tent. This is some uh, We've had previously the people who organize logistics and finances um, in there. We have recently gotten a mod tent because um, it is getting colder and um, having a tent where we can have, um, you know, protection from the elements and larger meetings, especially if it starts to snow, has been important. Um, but in the move, it, it's... It was filled with a lot of stuff, but they've cleared it out for the art um, festival today. Um, mostly, I think I see just a lot of residential tents. Some of the tents that we had set up in Grand Parade for certain purposes, like meetings, um, supplies, media, um, were not reset up here. There's, there's just kind of sitting in storage because. Um, I think there's a sense that, well, we're just kind of waiting this out for a few days. Um, you know, it's, um, it's a bigger park. Some people have expressed, um, you know, the, the desire to stay here long term, but we don't have electricity here, and um, I think that other people feel that they are more visible in Parade Square. Um, that as a political movement, making a political statement, um, it makes more sense to be in Parade Square, and I tend to agree with that. In person for direct action, we plan events like rallies and marches, and I'm involved in logistics to handling finances and information gathering. I definitely use help if you're interested, and uh, direct action is a lot of fun. We're hoping to, we're going to start and do a lot more outreach and political stuff, getting awareness, different issues that people have out there in the public eye and raising consciousness to the public. A whole lot of community. It's an opportunity for people to learn how to work together, how to respect each other's points of view, and, and I find the most progress that I have made in the past week is within myself to communicate with others and to respect them for who they are. This is a great place to get all sorts of people, all sorts of ideas on how to do things, and we all have to work together because we're all here together. So, you know, beside the politics of it all, it's uh, a lot of learning. And a loaded ladle donated a couple bales of hay, so picked up on that. I just want to like poke the camera in there. And I'm so curious too. Cold but rambunctious. How are we going to work together on this? It's kind of messy in here, sorry. I wasn't expecting company. Yeah, that's good. What did I come in here to get? A sweater? So this is the spot. Feel free to stop by, folks. You're warm at night? Oh, heck yes. Excellent. Especially with the little girl. You picked a good time to come. <laughs> yeah. I just took on that. Come on in. <laughs> Excuse me, people. Oh, sorry. All right. I'll stay wherever we go. Come in this side. Yeah. Great. This is um, just an all veg. It's all vegetable. Right. Um, soup with a chicken flavor. This is a chili. And that is a big beef stew. And this is a uh, chicken macro. This was brought in, donated. That was donated, this was donated, and and a few of us put, whipped this together. Do you know who donated it or where it came from? Mm, no. Yes. Yeah? no. Yes. Maybe a yeah. private individual. Private individual who cooked. Yeah. You cook here as well? Yes. You have all the utensils you need? Yeah, we have you need. propane, propane uh, Coleman stove. Right. And yeah, we have everything you, you ever want. 
we, before we moved, we had shelves full of donated food, canned food, and yeah. macaroni, and vegetables, and all sorts of things. Fresh produce. Yeah, yeah like there's, it's all in these bins, there's rice, and cereals. Okay, let's, a little bit of rice and cereals. There, these, these are all vegetables, potatoes, and carrots. A couple of times we've had businesses come down with um, large buckets of soup, um, sandwiches, for pla sandwich platters. Um. You got everything you need. Yeah. And the, the, the kitchen working group also has a budget, so if they right. want to go and buy um, anything in addition, they, they um, can do that as well. How long have you been here for? Uh, I've been since the 15th. 15th? Yeah, uh, day one. Yeah. Excellent. So how's it going? And, and it's going amazing. It's going amazing. Yeah. The, the learning experience. Yeah. Excellent. And then I've bring, been bringing some food here to help these people out too. How about the people that occupy Nova Scotia? Yeah, well, it's for anybody, anybody who right. needs the food. You know, we, don't, uh, we don't charge for it. Why do you do that? Well, for me, it's the continuation of my French Acadian Metis culture, the order of good cheer been going for 400 years. People tell me they'd like me to keep it going, they don't want me to give it up. Right. I mean, it's a good thing. I've just, I've just come two or three times and brought some food. Right. I'm, not, I'm not one of the organizers. I'm not, right. I'm not involved in making any decision yeah. or anything like that. You know, I, uh, I try to keep a low profile. I just, I just try to run my own ship. Uh -huh. you know, and i got enough trouble with that. <laughs> Has there been any issues that you've heard of down here? Um, uh, there's been in the news, I guess, there was some safety concerns in some places, some health concerns. Yeah. Um, does that yeah. apply here? Absolutely. Um, there, are, there are concerns of, um, you know, is this a safe place? Because we are an inclusive community. People come here and you know, we don't want to turn anybody away. People come here with uh, drug addictions. They come here, um, you know, in poverty, homeless, um, and you know, they bring their they bring all of their issues here. And we cannot meet everyone's needs. We don't promise to meet everyone's needs. The reality of having a place where anybody is allowed to come, um, and it's something that any occupation is going to have to deal with. I know that other occupations, Wall Street has had to deal with it. Um, they've had to deal with this in Spain. And I think what we also have to think about equally is the extent to which they, uh, the authorities will use that as an excuse to shut an occupation down. So um, recently where a woman had um, died in her tent, um, I heard that they were using that as an excuse to shut the camp down. Well, in society, people die. And in a, in a camp like this, where you have all sorts of people coming, there's a, you know, it's a very high risk. So there is definitely the danger of people being physically injured or um, dying. But um, we are, you know, I mean, what we're doing here is we're creating a new society in the old society and so nobody expects it to be easy um, but when people come here they are definitely confronted with uh, a reality that sometimes they didn't expect.
he has underneath that, they should get a camera like I got. Warp.